So joining us now is New York City Councilwoman Ina Verikoff, a Republican representing a slice of Brooklyn. Ina, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Your reaction to New York leadership putting out that statement and supporting, I, I guess, offering their prayers to the president and his family, I must tell you that was not on my bingo card this year. Yeah, I mean, look, it's always nice to see the mayor talk and, you know, we support the mayor in a lot of his endeavors, uh, but we have been getting a lot of talk from this administration in general. And I just think overall, it's just really funny how the Democrats right now are asking everyone to tone it down when for the last eight years, they have been demonizing, vilifying President Trump, calling him a Nazi, calling him a racist. In the last couple of months, all we heard from the Democrats was how this, how President Trump is a threat to democracy and how we need to eliminate him, literally using the word eliminate. That is completely unacceptable. And now they're calling for a ceasefire. Now they want the rest to stop. We need a serious mayor culpa from the Democratic Party, from the radical left, because this is completely unacceptable. And President Trump came out of this resilient, strong as ever. And I'm so excited for the convention and to see what's going to happen there. Ina, do you think that the, the statements that are being offered by these Democrats and New York, as, as we all know, has been kind of ground zero for this legal persecution against Donald Trump, do you think that all of the words of support and peace and unity from the Democrats, is that, is that sincere or is it really just an acknowledgement that they must make this statement politically? I mean, I think it's definitely sincere for people like Mayor Adams, um, you know, but it, it's just so funny how looking at this case that just happened where they dismissed, they dismissed the case, um, they are, they are it, it's so convenient that they're doing this, right? They love the victim. And yesterday, President Trump was seen as a victim. We got all the sympathy from them. And it's so interesting how all of a sudden, in a matter of hours, they're able to turn around uh, a legal order by a, by uh, a judge. I, I just think it's so hypocritical of them. Ina, um, I believe I mean, you're you're a Republican representing a, a famously Democrat zone. And my question to you is: We're seeing on social media this this kind of shift in people rising up, supporting Trump, people who otherwise would not have supported him in past. Are you seeing that happen on the ground in, in the open, or is this something you're still seeing kind of on the social media side of things? Can you describe any kind of shift happening on the ground? Well, I've been seeing this shift since I got elected. I got elected to a district that was Democrat for over 100 years. And, you know, I knew that I'm going to win my election in a landslide. And I think we keep seeing people, just Democrats and Republicans, being so angry at what the Democrat Party has done to our country and city with the migrant crisis, with crime, with such tremendous rise in anti-Semitism, unacceptable and never seen before in this country, um, the open border, and just everything that's going on right now, they are so angry that they're willing to take this chance. And I think vote in President Trump again, because our country was in such a better place before. We had no wars. We had a flourishing economy. We didn't have this crazy insane rise in anti-Semitism. And I do think that President Trump is going to win this election in a landslide. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.